This is an Ashdo Transportation TV special report on the Knowledge Session, using the equity imperative to integrate transportation systems, sponsored by h and So let's give our panelists a round of applause to welcome them. h and Diana Mendez, Corporate President for Infrastructure and Mobility Equity, served as session moderator. She introduced the panel, which included Stephanie Pollock, Deputy Administrator at the Federal Highway Administration, Roger Millar, Ashto Vice President and Secretary of the Washington State DOT, Tok Samashakin, Secretary of the California Transportation Agency, Terry Slaughter, Chief Culture, Equity and Inclusion Officer at Michigan DOT, and Adelaide Legrand, Chief Executive Officer at the Hillsboro, North Carolina Area Regional Transit Authority, or HART. During his remarks, Vice President Millar reminded everyone that tragedy brought the issue of equity center stage. The murder of George Floyd, certainly not the first or the last, but one that somebody caught on video, and uh, we were talking about something completely different. And so we at, uh, at Washto and later at Ashto and Tokes, my friend, and we helped, we drafted a resolution and it was adopted unanimously. In November 2020, the Ashto board unanimously approved a resolution to address issues related to race, equity, diversity, and inclusion in all aspects of transportation. We want a workforce that looks like the people we work for. We want anyone who is willing and qualified to do business with us, to be able to do business with us. This is about making sure that everyone has access to opportunity that everyone is treated in accordance with the law. Deputy Administrator Pollock began her remarks by acknowledging the unfortunate truth about some of the nation's legacy highway projects. As we continue to advance the work of equity and opportunity, we also have to recognize that past federal transportation investments have too often failed to address inequities, or in some cases even made them worse. And because a piece of physical infrastructure endures for decades, Families and communities today are contending with the results of discriminatory choices that may date back generations. Pollock says that USDOT is committed to advancing equity, making it a central goal of the agency's five-year strategic action plan. Pollock also spoke about an initiative called Justice 40. Justice 40 is a whole of government effort that the president committed to that 40% of the overall benefits, not dollars, benefits, from federal investment in climate and clean energy will go to disadvantaged communities. To even have that conversation, you have to have a whole bunch of sub-conversations. What's a disadvantaged community? CEO Legrand says Hart is using data to measure equity. The transit agency wants to meet all of its passengers' needs, including those in underserved communities. At Hart, we have started a racial equity pilot program which is a part of the American Public Transit Association's efforts. And in this program, it allows us to start off with doing some analysis to really understand our climate and understanding our demographics and where people live that would be the right cohort that typically ride transit. And then also what we're doing is using that data to now look and see if where we're investing our service is in alignment with where the needs are in the community. Secretary Omashakin says equity is also about the people working inside the agency and the partnerships they form. So making sure that all the way through the rung, frontline staff, all the way to senior management, how can we focus on this and make sure that the people we're hiring, promoting, training for leadership opportunities, that it's not just one particular group of people, that it's everybody that's getting true opportunity and access. So number two, partnerships, making sure of business the people we do business with, that they have a true opportunity, making sure that our DBE program actually is creating access for small businesses. Chief Culture, Equity and Inclusion Officer Slaughter says she's encouraging Michigan DOT to slow down to ensure past inequities aren't permitted to happen again. And we also had to kind of use our equity and inclusion lens as a means to slow down our instincts. And I would really encourage all of you to think about this as well. Slow down our futurist instincts. And what do I mean by that? 
Notions like connected and automated vehicles are great for everybody immediately. That everybody can enter the EV market. That when we're talking about things like drone technology, that that's a greater good that everybody can have access to right as we launch it. We've really got to think about whether or not the technologies and innovations we bring to bear are re-entrenching some of our old inequities. Transportation organizations at all levels are examining equity in new ways to ensure everyone is included.